I just remember being so confused, being in so much pain, didn't know what was going on because nothing specific happened. Like I didn't hurt myself. Of course, I was hospitalized after that actually. I need to get back inside. Like it, this is not safe. Like I am uncomfortable. I cannot move my toes or my hands. If I don't have gloves, I can't go. Like I have to leave the situation. Like that's how intense it was for me. I'm literally changing internally. Like that's not okay. Hey Navy. I am back with another living with lupus video y'all when I tell you I missed coming on here and just saying hey Navy like what is going on y'all I am back I am gonna be coming with all the good content y'all like I really feel like my focus has been elsewhere so much has been going on but to I really want to just start talking to y'all again and I know there's a lot of people who are genuinely interested with uh, all the different components of what I have going on between motherhood and lupus and things like that so first of all if you haven't seen my last lupus update which I just recently posted um, about like very first signs of lupus go watch that but today I really just want to talk to you guys today about my journey and some of the signs before the signs like uh, going way back and also talking about being misdiagnosed and all the things because uh, I'm really sitting here like wow how long was I like blindsided for or was I blindsided or like was it okay the way I was living the things I was going through so we're gonna talk about uh, how I possibly had lupus without even knowing in the last video I told you guys like the obvious first sign of like that confirmed okay you have lupus like which caused me to get the biopsy but like this is signs that I've had since I was like younger not knowing it could have any type of connection really with lupus and I was just was living through this thinking it was normal thinking it was okay so anyways let's get into it because I really want to spread awareness per usual and if you guys are not signed up to my living with lupus support group oh my gosh y'all we get so vulnerable on there we talk about trauma experiences regular experiences appointments side effects medicines um everything and it's like a safe space where we can just sit and chat and um, ask for suggestions share information and resources so if you have not joined that yet please do it's one of my greatest accomplishments to just bring this community together and I'm just so grateful for it and grateful for the people who have joined and we get to talk every day and just provide that level of comfort for each other so anyways y'all let's get into this okay so uh, we're gonna start with a story time from 2017 I literally remember this so clearly where I had an incident and I went to Six Flags with my family and it was a long day and by the time we left y'all I literally was limping like my joints in my legs were hurting so bad and it was like an aching pain like it was like a straining pain to where like I could not finish walking to the car and I had to get on my dad's back for him to carry me back to the car and I just remember being so confused being in so much pain didn't know what was going on because nothing specific happened like I didn't hurt myself and then it like triggered pain or anything but like literally it was like after that after I got back to the car and things like that it was like a feeling of like inflammation in my joints at the time I didn't really connect the dots with that um but I was concerned my parents were concerned so of course I was hospitalized after that actually and they ran some blood work and did some tests and things like that and come to find out I was ANA positive and I'll put the definition the exact definition on the screen for those of you who don't know but basically when that test comes back positive it's when anti-nuclear antibodies are found in your blood and that can be a sign of an autoimmune disease but me not knowing like I kind of took that information and stuffed it in my little you know medical history type thing and moved on because at this point I'm like okay like I'm just thinking even if it is an autoimmune disease like okay that's just like I'm kind of like uh, 
overlooking it a little bit but also because the doctor like my rheumatologist at the time kind of didn't make a big deal out of it she just wanted to make me aware of it and she noted it like she was definitely um felt strongly about it and felt it was important that that test to know that that test came back positive and to put it in my files but like it wasn't a thing at the time it just means it was just kind of like a pending a pending diagnosis if you will like an underlying you know whatever also me not even knowing the whole span of what types of autoimmune diseases there are anyways so yeah that was in 2017 i think i was so yeah i was 18 turning 19 when this happened mind you i'm 26 now so i just want to know how like i was just going through all these years with that underlying i guess thing to be cautious about but never really checked back up on it i never really had any other situations that were dramatic like that so i just was like okay cool another thing that i've always experienced since i was young is raynaud syndrome so uh, if you don't know that is literally when you do so like you do not react well to the cold at all it's like your circulation it's like a loss of blood flow in your circulation so like my fingers will literally turn like purple bluish or white if it's like really cold they turn white and they get stiff and it has always been like that and it still happens come to find out that's a side effect of lupus at the time growing up didn't know that i have looked it up before and saw that it was called raynaud syndrome but you kind of know how that goes sometimes where it's just like oh okay i looked it up cool there's a name for it but like it's always been a situation of where like everyone else is just like a little bit cold or just make the comment make note of the fact like oh it's cold but with me it's like no nah, baby like i need hand warmers i am freezing i need to get back inside like it's, this is not safe like i am uncomfortable i cannot move my toes or my hands if i don't have gloves i can't go like i have to leave the situation like that's how intense it was for me but i just thought that that was just my body i thought that that was just uh, um you know how i reacted i just don't do well with the cold you know what i'm saying like literally not thinking much of it just thinking because it's been going on for so long since i could remember so you know i'm just thinking that's just me so that's the second thing and then after that more years go by and i get pregnant and this was in 2021 and i had my baby after i had my baby my hair was literally just like coming out so immediately i'm like oh my god postpartum hair loss because people talk about this all the time the, all the things that come with you know getting pregnant having a baby like all the things like that so i kind of was just on board with oh this is the phase like this was to be expected type thing but like really my it's like my body was changing like like my hormones like everything was changing and me just thinking like my hair coming out a lot was just postpartum hair loss which it could who who knows still like it could have been that i was experiencing postpartum hair loss but then it later turned into like within the next year i experienced my first like baby bottom bald spot like from that hair loss transitioned into like patches like of hair like and it was like it was like maybe like this big and i'll insert like pictures which you've probably seen if you've seen some of my other videos but like it turned from that to like i didn't even know if i had a hair follicle <laughs> and if you've seen the video where i posted like when i found out i was diagnosed or even videos before that y'all i used to, i used to make hair videos and uh, y'all my subscribers plus my mom were the ones who was like girl like because i was joking like y'all like uh, i cannot like look at this why am i balding like ha ha jokey joke like where'd my hair go and y'all were like um i would go to the dermatologist and my mom was like yeah and you know when mama says it girl i made that appointment so fast um but uh, yeah like it, it literally was like like cold when i touched to the touch because it was like so bald and like i had like a few of those spots and my edges were thinning so i'm like okay yeah like i'm literally changing internally like that's not okay and that's when i went and seeked help and we'll talk about the whole diagnosis ooh, in another video because that was a whole nother thing um when it comes to that but yeah i just really wanted to share with you guys the signs before the signs okay because i really want to spread awareness on the fact that like i literally didn't know and it's like 
if I'm not a freaking science major, health major in the wellness industry, it's like I haven't even heard of these things. Like I didn't even hear, I did I have never, ever, ever heard of lupus before I was diagnosed. That is insane. That is not okay. But also it's normal. Like I can't, I used to be like, dang, like have a sense of guilt or like shame or like the unknowing, but it's also like, even if I was aware of it, I don't know, it's just like, it may, it's one of those things that makes you think like, dang, like if I took more concern with my health more often over the years, or I don't know, just did my own research or whatever the case is, like would I have caught it earlier? But at the same time, my doctor did tell me like, we caught it early, actually. She did say that, I guess, meaning like my symptoms weren't that bad when I was diagnosed, which by the way, I was diagnosed in 2021. It's a lot of dates here, guys, S stick with me. I was pregnant and had a baby in 2019. I was diagnosed with lupus at age 23 in 2021. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this helps. If you guys are experiencing any of these things, go get checked. It does not hurt. You're only helping yourself. Who else is going to advocate for you and take these steps if you don't? Um, these are just some of the signs that I've experienced that I just thought were normal and it's okay. I had to give myself grace in that area and just know that it's okay. We don't know everything. We are not aware of everything. Um, I'm just blessed to have went when I did go. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you have any comments, like I said, if you want to get real vulnerable, join the group chat, my living with lupus support group. The link will be in the description box. I love you guys so much. Stay tuned for more updates. I just had a um, dermatology appointment. So if you want to know how that went, let me know. Anyways, guys, love you, love you, love you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, Navy. Mwah.